depression isn't always obvious or easy to spot. Social media and Hollywood often depict it in its most serious stage, with raging mood swings and intense hopelessness. But depression can range from mild to severe, and it has a habit of sneaking up on us in our everyday routines. This is why many people often struggle with it silently, when the symptoms aren't always so clear-cut. Here are six signs you may have depression and not even know it. 1. You keep yourself crazy busy. The older we get, the more natural it is for our schedules to fill up, with duties to fulfill and chores to complete. But when you have depression, you are more likely to drown yourself in work. A study published in the journal PLOS One shows that there is a correlation between workaholism and symptoms of psychiatric disorders, such as anxiety and depression. Medical doctor Sumi Lee Samuel at Timberline Knowles, a residential treatment center in Illinois, states that keeping busy might be a way for people to ignore or avoid painful issues that may be contributing to or triggering their depression. Your boss might be pleased with your work ethic and your kitchen counter might be spick and span, but we encourage you to pay close attention to your heart. If it feels heavier than usual, please don't hesitate to reach out to others for help. 2. You're hurting everywhere. According to the Mayo Clinic, pain and depression are closely linked and related to one another. In many people, depression can cause unexplained physical symptoms, such as back pain and headaches. The reverse also holds true, in which chronic pain can lead to depression along with various other problems, such as difficulty sleeping, stress, and low self-esteem due to legal, work, or financial issues. We recommend that you talk to your doctor and seek the right treatment that works for you. Whether it means taking medication, using talk therapy, attending pain rehabilitation programs, or practicing stress reduction techniques. 3. You've either gained or lost a lot of weight. Depression can make you swing in extremes, in one direction or the other. If you notice a difference in your appetite, whether it's gone down or went up, it might have to do with the emotional pain you're feeling. Some people don't feel like eating when they're down and dejected, whereas others, who usually eat healthy, might have a craving for junk food and takeout as they try to fill up the void in their lives. We recommend that you try healthy, comfort food recipes to keep yourself nourished with the essential nutrients your body needs during stressful times. 4. You can't seem to make up your mind. Clinical psychologist Elizabeth Lombardo, author of Better Than Perfect, states that psychologically, when we're depressed, we lose gray matter that affects the parts of our brains that facilitates our motivation and decision-making. Even the smallest decisions we make on a daily basis, like choosing coffee or tea, can be a struggle when we lack focus and determination. The next time you have a hard time making a choice, try to go with your first instinct and know that you still have the power to turn things around if you feel like you made the wrong decision. 5. You're glued to your phone or computer. Simon Rigo, Associate Professor of Clinical Psychiatry and Director of Psychology Training at Montefiore Medical Center, states that people with depression often go on a quest for a short-term boost as a common coping mechanism. Whether that means gambling, Facebooking, or shopping, virtual social interactions are sought more than real ones from those who feel depressed. In fact, although internet addiction and depression are separate diagnoses, they often overlap with one another. The next time you're glued to your Instagram or splurged on many pairs of designer shoes, we encourage you to reflect and ask yourself if you're okay. 6. The slightest things set you off. Irritability is a common sign that most people overlook. If you find that you're more impatient when you're waiting in line at the grocery store or get agitated when the light turns red at stoplights, there may be more going on underneath your sighs and frustration. Teariness is also an indicator that you may have depression. Small issues can feel enormous when you're depressed. You may notice that you're crying more easily than usual or have trouble controlling your tears. Depression has an odd way of overwhelming us, and instead of repressing our feelings, we should let them out naturally and learn not to be so hard on ourselves. Hey guys, it's Yumi here. So we recently teamed up with Depression to Expression, an amazing mental health channel ran by a guy named Scott. He started this channel back in 2012, opening his story about depression and anxiety, and he recently did a review on our psych 2 magazines. I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below and his channel information, so please show him some love. Thank you. Do you think you might be struggling with depression? We want you to know that you're not alone, and we're here to help you. Please share your thoughts with us below. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching!